Hello everybody and welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. My name is Denise Cox. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Trail, British Columbia, Canada. And today's video is one that I want to share on how to create this beautiful card and this neat um, stamping technique using the Ginkgo Branch bundle. So here's the stamp set and here are the gorgeous dies that go with it. Now this card is one of the cards that everybody in my Stamp of the Month Club will be receiving in their February kit. The stamp, of course, is the Ginkgo Branch stamp set. Um, if you'd like to find out more information about the Stamp of the Month Club, head on over to createwithbirdsnest.ca and you'll see it on the homepage as well as under the Classes and Clubs tab. So if you like today's video, please leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel. I love to hear from you. Okay, so let's do some stamping. Now, if you're a member of my Stamp of the Month Club, you're gonna have all of these pieces prepared for you in your kit. If you're not, that's okay. I'm gonna give you the dimensions as we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is start with our Coastal Cabana card base. Standard card base, eight and a half by five and a half. And scored at the four and a quarter mark. So we'll go ahead and we'll give that a fold. And I'll use my bone folder here. So we've got a nice crisp fold on our card. Then we're going to use this beautiful piece of Dandy Designs, designer series paper. This is the Celebration exclusive. It's a massive pack of paper 48 sheets that you can earn for free when you place a $120 order um, through till the end of February. So it's a great pack of paper. I love it. Um, I've been using it a ton actually. So this is one of the patterns. So this is just four by five and a quarter. And we're just going to put that right here on the front of our card. Okay. So now I'm going to set that aside for a moment and I'm going to bring in a, two pieces of, actually we'll start with the first piece. We're going to start with a three and a half by four and a half piece of basic white. And this is what we're going to do our stamping on. So to do this technique, we're going to use both Pool Party and Orchid Oasis ink pads. And we're going to use this gorgeous stamp set, this gorgeous, <laughs> can't even speak, words are hard today. This is the gorgeous Ginkgo Branch Stamp um, and we're going to use a sponge dauber. So first thing we're gonna do, because this is such a big stamp, I'm gonna flip it over like this and then I'm gonna take my Pool Party ink pad. Now, one thing I do wanna say, this is a distinctive stamp set. So you do not wanna get so much ink on it that you're gonna fill all those um, detailed spot so that it ends up being just one big smush, right? We don't want that to happen. So we're just going to lightly put some pool party ink very lightly on here. Okay. And then I'm going to open up my Orchid Oasis and I'm going to take my sponge dauber and I'm just going to dab on some ink here and dab on some ink here. Okay. I'm going over top of the pool party and it's totally okay because it's a sm it's a lighter ink going onto a darker. So we're not going to worry about contaminating our ink pads. Everything is going to be just hunky dory. Okay. So we're going to do that. We don't want to wait too, too long. And then we're going to go ahead and flip that over and stamp it right here in the center. See how pretty that is? So that is how we get the two tone look to our ginkgo branch stamped image. All right, so to continue making this card, we are now going to attach that to the front. Okay. I'm seeing some spots on this card that I did <clears throat> on this image. We could have got a little bit more ink on it but I'm gonna go with this because I do kind of like that look it really blends in nicely with that background paper so don't worry if your image doesn't come out 100% perfect in these spots it's gonna be totally fine <clears throat> 
So now I've got a, oh, let me close this up before we end up with blue ink all over us. Okay, so now I've got a piece of glimmer paper and this is the Orchid Oasis glimmer paper right here. And it measures half an inch by three inches long. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use my liquid glue on here. It does hold a bit better on this. The back of this is a little bit um, glossy. So, oh dear, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Real time crafting with Denise, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna put this down here and I'll show you in a sec how we're gonna fix that. Okay, so we're just gonna let that glue dry and then I'll grab my adhesive remover and we'll get that fixed up. Okay, so let's just set that off to the side. And here is this beautiful label that came from the Ginkgo Branch dies. It's this guy right here. Okay, it's absolutely beautiful. I love this label. So I've got one cut out from Basic White. And then we're gonna go ahead with our Orchid Oasis again. And we're gonna use this heartfelt saying, oh, <laughs> sending hope and peace. So let's go ahead, we'll ink that up. And then we'll stamp that on our label. I love the font that is used on this stamp set. It's just so elegant and pretty. Okay, so we'll flip that on over and then we're gonna use some Stampin' Dimensionals. Probably about four, it's a fairly long label and I don't like it when it's not even. No saggy bits. <laughs> okay, so let's take that off. Get those off. And then we're just going to attach that over top of our label. So we want a lot of the glitter to show, but we don't want the top to show. So we're just going to stick that over top like so. Okay. And then we're going to use some pastel adhesive back sequins. And pull those out. So we're going to take some of the blue ones. And we're just going to stick some of them on our card, like so. So pretty. So of course, I always like to show a little bit of love to the inside of my card as well. So to do that, I'm going to take my four by five and a quarter inch basic white insert, and I'm going to do stamping in the same manner we did on the front. This time I'm using the smaller images. So I'm gonna use this one here along with this one. And I've got them both mounted on one stamp block just to make it super easy. So again, I'm gonna flip that over. I'm going to take my pool party ink and I'm gonna ink that up. And then I'll once again take my Orchid Oasis, my, whoop, my sponge dauber. And I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a dab here and there. And then I'm going to stamp that right in the corner of my insert. Voila! I just love that. Now you can do this with so many different colors. The only tip that I'll give you is when you're doing that, do what I've done and stamp with the lighter color and then add your darker color. Because if you obviously if you do it in dark and then try to add light, it's not going to work. So that's the tip. You can think of all different kinds of color combinations that you could do. Um, of course, it does work great when you have an image that is solid like this. So if you've got other ones in your stamp set, and if you're like me, your mind is going a mile a minute thinking about all the other ones you could do this fun and simple technique with. All right. There we have it. That is our card complete using the Ginkgo Branch stamp set, which you can purchase through my online store. Again, if you head on over to createwithbirdsnest.ca, there's links to my online store along with my host codes and um, information about my customer loyalty program. So you can check that all out. The Ginkgo Branch and Ginkgo Branch dies. I love that they've named them the same. It's so much less confusing. Um, so that can be purchased as a bundle and you'll save 10%. And don't forget it's celebration. So if you spend 120, you can also get this beautiful Dandy Designs designer series paper. 
So again, if you've liked and enjoyed today's tutorial, please give me a thumbs up on my channel, subscribe, show me some love. I love to hear from you all. Until next time, happy crafting. Cheers, everyone.